Well, one of the things we've been very interested in, because we've mapped out these areas over the last 20 years with brain imaging, and it started with simple techniques using metabolism with PET scanning, where we inject small amounts of radioactive chemical to map the function in the brain, to now using functional MRI scanning. And we, we and others have identified that there are various combinations of these regions we've been speaking about. And what we noticed back more than 10 years ago was that if we scan patients when they presented with their illness and then they went on to be treated, that actually not everyone's scan at baseline looked exactly the same. And as we actually started to look at the data as a function of how the patients eventually did, we started to notice that certain brain regions were in different states in the scan and actually would predict how the patients eventually did. And the regions that were most predictive of that were in a region called the anterior cingulate. So that the anterior cingulate would be overactive in patients who would go on to do well, but underactive in patients who would go on to do poorly. And we sort of filed that finding away. Other people replicated it over time. And now we actually have a number of projects that are specifically looking at can we actually not just predict how you will do in a generic sense, but actually can we predict what treatment you will optimally respond to. So we have large studies now where we scan people who've never been treated, and we also look at genetics, immune markers. We take a number of different potential biomarkers and physiologic and clinical measurements. We then assign them randomly to either get drug or therapy, and then we follow them for three months and see how they did. And then we can look back at their initial measures and look to see is there a particular prototype with the biomarkers that will predict that you really would have done better with therapy than drug, or that you require drug, or that actually you don't get better on either. And this is very important because in our other experiments, we're studying actually new treatments for patients who respond to nothing. Well, if you've gone through many, many treatments, spend many, many years in a state of being ill, wouldn't it be wonderful to actually, the first time you present, to actually recognize that you may have a more serious or malignant form of the illness? And that if we have really effective treatments for these most intractably ill patients, we can go straight to them instead of trying out things that take time, enhance suffering for a patient, where in fact we could have known it wasn't going to work anyway.